be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is an evening talk given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on October 14th. 2018 in Chennai, India. Today my voice is a little down. Shyam Madhusudan Das will be repeating what I say. So, here we are. And, uh, so here we're in our residence in Chennai. A very kind Grihastha is allowing me to stay in his flat. And uh, he and his wife and his daughter have moved to another flat. And he and his wife, son, and daughter have moved to another flat. So that I can recuperate from the traumatic surgery. So that, so that I can recuperate from the traumatic surgery. I say that the first three to six months is crucial. I say that the first three to six months are crucial. Because the body wants to reject the new organs. We want the body to accept the organs and be healthy. So this is all going on. In the morning, we listen to Srila Prabhupada's lectures. We know that in the first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna throws down his Gandiva bow. And he says that he'll go to the forest. Why fight brother and brother, cousin and cousin, disciple, guru, grandson, grandfather? So he didn't want to engage in such a fratricidal war. So he asked Krishna, he said, Be my guru, no more friend to friend talk. Tell me what I should do. Krishna said, you're speaking like a bandit. But actually no bandit will speak like that. Because we're not the body. These are the same words Prabhupada introduced in the West, that you are not the body. He told some American youths that you're not the body. He told some American youths that you're not the body. Well, I have an American passport. I'm American. I am an American. 
Prabhupada said that's bodily designation. Like that. I'm not Indian, you're not American, and others are not Chinese, and they're not Russian. We all have part and parcel of sparks from the Supreme Absolute Truth. We all are part and parcel, sparks from the Supreme Absolute Truth. So I guess Ramadan is wrong. The ancient wisdom of the Vedas. So like this, Prabhupada spoke the ancient wisdom of the Vedas. So that the people would understand. So that the people would understand. And God, how every thought, every word, every deed, every offer, has a devotional service to Lord Krishna. He taught how every thought, word, and deed should be offered as service to Lord Krishna. So in this way, at first, he went to the rich people. He went to the rich people? So like this, at first he went to the rich people. But they were not receptive. But they were not receptive. Because when they heard all the things that they had to give up, they thought, well, what else is there in life? Wine, intoxication, gambling, illicit sex. And meat eating. So he wasn't getting very far in the yoga clubs. So he was not getting very far in the yoga clubs. And then he sat down Thompson Square and the end of chant. And then he sat down in Tompkins Square Park and started to chant. He was all alone. He was all alone. Only, only, Krishna, was him. only Krishna was with him. And, but all the young people, they took to his teachings. But all the young people took to his teachings. And, so that's why they, uh, Couples went to London and they uh, influenced the Beatles. So, in this way, three couples went to London and they influenced the Beatles. So, and I came in a London paper, Hare Krishna, Rock London. London. So it came in the newspaper, Hare Krishna rocks London. So, now devotees like to retire to Vrindavan. So now devotees like to retire to Vrindavan. They like to settle down in the Holy Dham. They'd like to settle down in the Holy Dham. Prabhupada was in the Holy Dham. He was already settled there. But he remembered that Guru had asked him to go to the West. But he remembered that his Guru had asked him to go to the West. So he, uh, he tried how to get to the West. So he tried to see how he could get to the West. And then, uh, he the owner of the 
And then he convinced the owner of the Sindhya steam merchant marine to take him on the ship as a passenger. So he had a heart attack during the crossing of the Atlantic Ocean. He had a stroke in New York. But somehow he survived all of this. And he persevered in establishing the Hare Krishna movement all over the world. I joined in 1968. At that time, I had seen all the temples in Iskon. San Francisco, New York, and Montreal. But now, but now it's not easy to see all the temples. Eight hundred temples. And thousands of bhakti rikshas. And namhattas. I just remember how Lord Chaitanya had predicted. I was just remembering how Lord Chaitanya had predicted. That Prithibiti Ache Joto Nagaradi Gram Sharbatra Pracharita Hoive Murnam. Every town and village of the whole world, my name will be sung. That in every town and village in the whole world, my name will be sung. So gradually, that's unfolding. So gradually, that's unfolding. And uh, we need our devotees to take us up to help spread Lord Chaitanya's movement. We need our devotees to take this up and help spread Lord Chaitanya's movement. Today we got an email from a devotee. How the devotee had to ride a dingle attack. How the devotee had survived a dengue attack. Dengue is like malaria. So then they had so six bottom sets and they want the butter. So they distributed six Bhagavatam sets in the month of Bhadra. They held the Janmashtami festival in their community building. And so many activities to involve the neighbors in Krishna consciousness. So, Kali is very busy and getting people in material activities. So, Kali is very busy in engaging people in material activities. We should be active in trying to be able to chant Hare Krishna and dance. We should be very active in encouraging the people to chant Hare Krishna and engage in Krishna consciousness. Nine. 
By chanting Hare Krishna, you do not get a hangover the next day. Instead, you feel very blissful. I forget, I was walking in the pool in Russia and you were walking in the park? I was walking in the park in Russia or Poland, or Poland. and I sang Brother Van Zandt they were singing they were singing like the goal of life is how much bota you can drink. Vodka is a Russian intoxication. Americans like whiskey. Different countries have their spirits. In the heavenly planets, they drink somras. Which is like an intoxication and it gets rid of all bad karma. So Prabhupada already had the favorable environment, but he came out to give us the chance. How much we should feel indebted to Srila Prabhupada. And how much to his assistants who are helping him. Now, in the world there is so much fighting and problems going on. Now in the world there is so much fighting and violence going on. So, people need to know the process of Krishna consciousness. So people need to know the process of Krishna consciousness. And so our generation is fast coming to an end. Our generation is fast coming to an end. The responsibility will be on the next generation and one that the lad to continue with the Krishna conscious revolution. The responsibility will be with the next generation and the one after that to continue the Krishna conscious propagation. And in the Rama Mahaja Pran, it says that the golden age of 10,000 years. In the Brahma Vaivarta Puran, it says that there will be a golden age for 10,000 years. So, uh, in the crucial time to kindly time of gross materialism to uh, a more natural spiritual way of life. So this is a crucial time to turn the tide from gross materialism to a more natural spiritual way of life. I think all the devotees who are engaged as Sankirtan movement and both distribution and congregational preaching. Thank you very much. I want to thank all the devotees engaged in this Sankirtan movement, congregational preaching, book distribution. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.
Do you like our ad-free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day, and don't forget to like and share our channel.